नमस्कार हेलो वेलकम टू दिस नेक्स्ट वेरी वेरी स्पेशल सेशन एट द वी वुमेन वांट फेस्टिवल इन मुंबई एंड द न्यूज एक्स शक्ति अवार्ड्स इट्स ट्रूली अ a powerful day of uh, full of women achievers from all walks of life and we truly have now uh, our next conversation with the rising star of the entertainment industry uh, the television space is buzzing with mentions of nimrit kaur aluwalia uh, so firstly welcome thank you so much for taking time out today firstly thank you so much today for being so kind um truly flattering uh, you know flattering and just thank you so much for such a warm introduction no, no, you truly deserve it and as i said earlier so first my uh, question to you is uh, your first reaction uh kaisa lag raha hai like the uh, media <laughs> asks very typically after winning yeah. the news x shakti award uh, for rising star i think uh, it's a good moment of reassurance um i think it is very thoughtful and very kind of everyone on the team to recognize women in different spheres uh, and i also feel very grateful uh, you know because there can be moments when you are doing work um, and you know in your head you are going in the right direction because there are certain standards that you have set for yourself uh, but for the same to be recognized uh, truly truly grateful uh, since it is the news ex shakti award i have to ask you where do you derive your shakti from I think from everyone around me from women around me I don't know um but it's been the case you know even when I was in school or when I was in law school or even now I feel that uh, if you have the eye there's inspiration everywhere so it's been a great experience even today mm -hmm. you know just sitting in the audience listening to great women um and you know just to hear their stories I think there's inspiration to find everywhere Okay you know just talking to you now of course a bit nimrit about uh, you know uh, your own career we'll talk about your recent success in just a second but uh, uh, shuruaat aapne uh, uh, kaise ki industry mein jaise aap keh rahe the law padh rahe the aap uh, to keeda kab aaya ki actor banna hai ye karna hai um i think keeda to bachpan se tha you know uh, even when i was in kindergarten that was the first time that i went up on stage and i remember it was a character dramatization uh, competition in school um and that's when i realized that i really enjoyed being in the spotlight and performing on stage uh, but you know i mean and it continued like all along school uh, i was working um, you know alongside different theater groups and just feeling that um it's a very difficult feeling to explain but it's the best feeling in the world you know and that's what i realized but again coming from a family where my mom she is a principal of a school my dad he is in the army um and the entire you know family is such that there's a lot of emphasis on education and uh, rightfully so so i think they really like brainwashed me and they were like you should get a professional degree first not that i didn't want to be a lawyer i really wanted to be one and i became one uh but then i also realized that life is only one um and we should not set parameters in a way that tells us that you know we can't fulfill this so there's one life and i think i'm doing it all <laughs> no doubt but there is uh, you know some what of a connect uh, between 4g kids and beauty pageants as well oh yes and and you know you of course did win one a femina miss india manipur yes. if i'm not mistaken yes. so tell us a bit about that and do you believe that was in a way the launching pad absolutely so um when i was in my fourth year of college uh, i managed to you know bag two jobs uh one was with a law firm in delhi uh for intellectual property rights and uh, the other one was a insurance company based in bombay uh so my parents were pretty chill on the fact that i finally have a job so uh, that stress was off uh, you know otherwise you're usually thinking ki yaar 5 saal padhai karne ke baad you know uh, what's next so once that happened uh for ji dad he had the same keeda i feel because when i was born in 94 you know everybody would see and talk of a sushmita and you know a priyanka chopra and my dad he would really brag like he would tell him all his uh, you know forgy parties that if she takes on to my height then one day i'll make sure that she participates in miss india so i was like cool uh, so i just went back and i reminded and i was like hey guys i i think i want to do this and uh, luckily they were very excited about it uh and that's how the journey began so femina miss india 2018 um i represented the state of manipur uh and i was in the top 12 and that's 
post which you know how the auditions start floating in and it just started yeah. but yeah. how did the first break happen you know uh, now today you are for everyone choti sardarni right. you know jaise kehte hain ki in tv your character becomes your name Correct. you know that they know you as uh, so how did that first break happen and how difficult or uh, or challenging were those you know initial years see i think nothing in life is um, easy and i also i feel like i always shy away from talking about how challenging it was uh because every time i think of my challenges i end up looking at people who have bigger challenges than i do at least in my eyes and then i feel like maybe i'm being too petty uh but i would also not discredit the fact that yeah it was not easy um so i came to bombay and uh, you know i had to really convince my parents um i told them that you know i really want to do this uh and they told me that you have 6 months in the city so if something happens great otherwise come back and pursue your masters and start studying again so i think that uh you know clock ticking for me is what also probably you know i think i'm someone who works best under pressure <laughs> so i just knew that there's a there's a you know expiry date here uh so i must really bust and uh, you know try to crack whatever i can so i would literally like typically my day would begin by 10 i would be out with a jhola of mine with all sort of addition uh, outfits possible mm. uh, and i would just go to every uh, you know office and just keep auditioning because i realized the more that i would audition is probably the more confident i would get in front of the camera um and yeah i started doing that a bunch of things were supposed to happen they didn't uh, everybody tells you oh don't start off with television never looked down upon television but even i was skeptical you know because when you come to the city of dreams you're like oh may, you know i want a big banner film and you know like dharma is as if going to wait for you and tell you ki ha ha aa jao but that's not how it works you have to really work up the ladder i feel um and even when the script of choti was announced i was told that you know uh, uh, like when it was shared with me a lot of women in television were not very um comfortable you know because this was going to be the first show ever on television where there was a uh, a child uh, before marriage and how the poster of choti was also of a woman who was in her wedding attire with a 6 month baby bump and that was probably something that you know nobody wants to be like that or you know everybody was just like are you sure you want to do this but i think i've always maintained the fact that one should always stick to their gut and i just felt that it was one very empowering story and i was just very thrilled that i could be a part of it no path breaking yeah. as well and that also is why uh, we wanted you today uh, for the choices you made as well and then another choice uh, finally that you made was big boss uh, so uh, what uh, tell us a bit about that choice and what you've taken from the show of course you became very popular on the show you were you know one of the finalists of course on the show and uh, have got a lot of traction on social media thanks right. to that show yeah. so kya takeaways rahe or what explains that choice I think I was a very reluctant participant on the show you know for the first one month I was just like I don't want to do this maybe I'm not meant for it and even today I feel that I'm probably a misfit for the show uh because I feel that every show is made with a different thought process and obviously you know for entertainment people are watching the show for entertainment so you obviously sometimes need to move in a certain direction which is probably not 100% you but before i stepped in i told myself that it doesn't matter you know if i stay in for a week or longer i am not going to succumb to the pressure of being watched or of being entertaining enough at the cost of who i am so that way i feel like really proud and like you said you know with television people usually come to know you uh, for your character name and i just felt that it was the right opportunity and maybe at that time i didn't even see it but you know like you said cut to it got so much traction uh you know lsd2 announcement happened that changed so much like one would have never preempted something like that even happening um and the fact that i'm here so i'm very grateful that i did end up doing it yeah. and i'm also very proud of the fact that i didn't change myself to fit in i have to ask you quickly what's the equation with abdu now are you still <laughs> his first love ya thoda sa duri aa gayi hai i think everybody is badgered him so much which is slightly unfair you know because 
we have all been 19 and we have all had our share of crushes and i think it's absolutely normal uh, the equation with him is great of course um, you know he keeps shuttling between dubai and here and obviously like even in our normal lives we are not um, speaking to each other on a daily basis because i don't even speak to my parents on a daily basis <laughs> so um, yeah but otherwise i think uh, it's always warmth and well wishes Thank you so much for being with us. I want to sign off with uh, a message that you'd like to give to the youngsters over here, the young girls. Also, you know, you've spoken your mind about uh, your mental issues, also that you went through weight issues as well. Again, all the reasons why we've chosen you for this award today. Thank you so much, and uh, I just want to tell every girl in the room, like irrespective, like trust me, when we all wake up, when I wake up, I feel full of complexes. you know because i feel like okay i'm not looking my best you know this is not the right body size i don't feel confident today trust me i even woke up today and i was feeling really frustrated of how i was looking i was like no the hair is not right this is not right my mood is not right but it's just about you know not let anything in you know not let don't let anything come in the way of your confidence i think and don't let anyone tell you that this is not possible because trust me there is nothing that is impossible if you have your grit and if you have your passion then sky is the limit so from choti sardarni on colors to big boss to now lots more coming I, i'm not going to go into that because you what have to watch this space for more uh, nimrit kaur aluwalia thank you so much for joining us thank today at so uh, we women want festival and congratulations once again on winning the news extra kti award today thank you so much it's been such a pleasure and honor thank you for more such videos subscribe to the news x youtube channel hit the bell icon